Welcome back. Let's look at our file logger class. First, you notice that we're importing that context module that we wrote in the lecture, that open close class. So a file logger is an open close. We have a log file name that we're storing here. We see we have the magic enter and the magic exit. And notice that the magic enter does what it does. And then it calls the magic enter and our parent class that open close. And same with the magic exit, it calls the magic exit of the open close class. The magic exit takes in three arguments. Here, we don't care what they are. We just pass them on to the other magic exit that does care what they are. Since there's no magic in it, it went to the open close and put into the self the name of the file and the mode in which we wish to open it so that when it goes into the magic enter and here we are overriding the magic enter of the open close class the log file name that is in this class file.log we're going to open it for appending which means that every time we write to it it writes to the end and what are we going to write that we're opening the self file name which is the name of the file we are opening, in which mode we are, and what time it is now. Then we're calling our original open closes magic enter to finish the work because it passes back the open file object of our original words.txt. Our magic exit also overrides the magic exit that was in the open close. It takes in any number of arguments. And then we're going to write to our logger object that we're closing it at the time. We will close it. And then we're going to call the magic exit in open close and pass along the arguments, whatever came in. Let's look at our main. We're going around three times. Every time we instantiate a file logger object. And every time we are opening for appending words.txt. We're going to repeatedly append this string, which gives the time at this moment. And in the end, we're going to open our words.txt, and then we're going to read it and print it, and then the file, log or log file name, our log file, and read it and print it. We see from the output, it made it through the finally clause three times once for each of the loops in our main. And this none that is reported is the exception that happened. Nothing happened. That's what was output while it was running. Then we're looking at our words.txt, and we see that we wrote some words into that file at various times. Our file log reports every time it was opened and closed. All right, that's it for this lab. I'll see you when you're ready.